We are ready. Yeah. Oh. 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 ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम ओं समस्तजन कल्याण निरत करुणामय नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर ओं वसुदेव सुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु ओं सहना सह नौ भुन सह वीर करवावे तेजस्वीतमस्वा विषा वे ओं शांति 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 हरिओम एवरीबडी एंड वेलकम टू टूडेज क्लास फर्स्टली लेट मी रिमूव द स्पॉटलाइट एंड Bhavana, can we uh, start the session, please? Yes. And I'll request you to pin and spotlight as well when we start. <clears throat> oh. ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम ओं समस्त जन कल्याण निरत करुणामय नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर ओं सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंकोकशंक वसुदेव सुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु हरिओ विस Bhagwan Krishna was speaking about yajna, yajna visistata, the importance of yajna, and what is the meaning of yajna? Any self-sacrificing activity, cooperative endeavor. How it uh, helps the entire society, and how Brahma Ji gave this as a gift to humanity, the ability or capacity to sacrifice and work in uh, together for a nobler cause. and this is your wish fulfilling cue cue um, cow um, esha vo stishta kamadhuk this is your wish fulfilling cow and then who eats the remnants of agnya they will be purified from all sins agnya shishta sinas santah muchyante sarva kilbhishai they will be liberated bhunjate tu agam papaha ye pachanti atma karana wo jo jo are living only selfishly for themselves alone those who eat food for their own sake meaning entire consumption whatever it is all kinds of bhoga is only for me and me alone such kind of people they are sinners they eat only sin 
So what is the cosmic wheel in the same principle? The cosmic level also it has been happening. So what Bhagwan says, the cosmic wheel of action, Anad Bhavanti Bhutani Parjanyadam Nasambhavaha Yajnyadhodi Parjanyo Yajnya Karma Samudbhavaha Karma Brahmod Bhavam Vidhi Brahmakshara Samudbhavam Evam Tasmat Sarvagatayam Sarvagatam Brahmanityam Yajnya Pratishtitam. Therefore, we have seen the cosmic cycle, Anad Bhavanti Bhutani. Two meanings we saw. One meaning is from Pooja Gurudev's explanation, so beautiful it was. Anna means any consumable goods. Where the where there are consumable goods are there, naturally the humanity, the people will go there. Even birds also will go there where plenty of water is there, plenty of trees are there, fruits are there. They all gather and then they leave animals also where there is a prey, they just go and stay there. Human beings also. Annat Bhavanti Bhutani. And Anna, this born from what Parjanya, per reign of cooperative endeavor. Puja Gurudev said that food is produced, supplied. And you know, it is supplied, produced, transported, sought to it that it reaches everybody. This is how this is called Yajna. Gurudev said, cooperative endeavor. It rains actually so beautifully. So, Parjanya, cooperative endeavor is called the beautiful called rain here. And Parjanya, Yajna, Yajna, Bhavati Parjanya, Yajna, Karma Samudbhavaha. So by cooperative endeavor, rain comes and yajna come from karma. Action has to be performed. Then only any cooperative work, any teamwork, any group dynamism can happen. Karma brahmod bhavam vidhi. You know, who has decided actually what kind of work will give you, what kind of results? These are law, law. The rules and laws are there in the chair and cosmos. Suppose when you light a matchstick, the fire comes. The dharma is dharma but dharma who has ordered that fire to manifest bhagavan krishna says says no <clears throat> the oceans never transgress their limits that is the power of ishwara the creator creator limits everything to their own field of operation so everybody is controlled by the something called cosmic law so this Brahma gives us how to work, what kind of karma will give you, what kind of result, how to do it, etc., etc. This Veda Jnanam, Parijnanam has been given by Brahma. Veda means any book of knowledge. Book of Veda, when we refer to the, the ultimate Veda, book of knowledge, the knowledge, that which is there about cosmos, about evolution, about metamorphosis, about transformation, Laws and dharma, etc. Dharma and Brahma are the two topics which are discussed in Veda. So, karma brahmod bhavam vidhi. Brahma came from akshara, the imperishable infinity. From him alone, the Brahma came. So, then Bhagavan tasmat sarvagatam brahma niche yajnam pratishtitam. When you see this, all this from the cosmic existence or cosmic angle, all this is established nityam yajne pratishtitam. Everything, every moment, something is given up, giving way for something better. So something is offered unto something, something is produced, and that produce again is offered unto something at a minutest level to the macro level, at the universal level. This kind of yajna is constantly going on. Everything is being is pouring out their energies, their, their entire thing into this yajna work. All devatas are working, the planets are working, presiding deities are working, in our body, cellular organisms, so the, the cells also are working constantly. So everything, if you see, everything is actually tied to a dharma, cosmic wheel of action, and everything is, everybody is offering their services for the sustenance of the entire cosmos or universe. So this magnanimity, this mag the magnificent view is developed by a seeker by a sincere contemplation and meditation and when he reaches the inner portals of the halls of wisdom all these things become conspicuous and crystal clear in his consciousness so that he can perceive it everything in front of him this cosmic yajna where the brahma the infinity the ishwara ishwara is always established here um, as the creator is ishwara here ultimate the ishwara from ishwara sushti came so that ishwara Sarva Shaktiman, Sarva Vyapi, Sarva Gnyaha, 
all knowing, all potent, all pervading. He is established in that yajna because even if for a split second, if he is not aware of this jagat, if this jagat is not illumined by him, the jagat, the entire universe just simply ceases to exist in microseconds. How long does it take for the dream to collapse, to fold the dream? So therefore, this cosmic vision, what Bhagavan Krishna says, that this cosmic vision may, you also must become a samidha, a ahuti. You must contribute. So you are not ignorant. You are not ignored. You are equally important. Like every brick in the wall is important. Every cell in the body is important. Every atom in the cosmos has its own contribution to make for the sustenance and the growth or expansion or functioning of the universe itself. Therefore, nobody is superior, no one is inferior, everyone is required. Not only human beings, I'm talking of plants, animals, cellular or even the atomic cells also. Chemical cells, each one has its own contribution. Each, you know, potassium, calcium, carbon, everything, magnesium, all metals, they have their own role to play. So this cosmic view, when we develop, then you know, what is my role in this? So Bhagavan Krishna says, one must be aware of this cosmic wheel of action. Wonderful, isn't it? So Bhagavan Krishna continues in 16th sloka, Yevam pravartitam chakram nanu vartayati hayaha agha yurindriya ramo mogam partha sajivati yevam pravartitam chakram nanu vartayati hayaha agha yurindriya ramo mogam partha sajivati you know what else we need bhagwan krishna is scolding us directly here Evam, in this way. In this way, in what way? Annad bhavanti bhutani parjanya danna sambhava yajnyad bhavati parjanyo yajnya karma samut bhavaha karma pramod bhavam vidhi pramahakshara samut bhavam tasmat sarvagatam brahmanityam yajnye pratishtitam. This entire thing what we saw in 14th and 15th verses where cosmic wheel of action was explained, Bhagavan Krishna says, Evam, in this way, this wheel of action is functioning. Pravartitam chakram. Continuously, this Kala chakra, this Dharma chakra, Kala chakra is continuously moving. It should not stop. So, Evam pravartitam chakram. Thus, the, the wheel of action, which has been revolving since time immemorial, in the beginning, one who doesn't follow, na anuvartayati iha yaha. Yaha, whoever he be, he who, na anuvartayati, he does not follow the particular wheel of action. Meaning what? He is absolutely, he feels that, you know, I am independent, completely cut off from the cosmos. Ego. Ego, ego separates us from totality. So me, my, me, my, my life, my, my wealth, my progress, and I'm at least bothered, no question of contribution to society, country, family. Sensitivity is zero. And who he, whose actions are not in tune with the law of cosmos or law that constitution or the, in the, in this, the law of the country. So his, his actions are always uh, completely tangential. I'm away from, he moves away from, the tangent moves. Away from the, the wheel of action. So it's such an irresponsible, unregulated, indisciplined, extremely self-centered, a crooked, hypocrite individual who feels that life has to be lived only for he, himself or herself alone absolutely cut off and solid ego block which is floating and hitting and hurting everybody when the block is moving in the society even if i have to touch my shoulder to shoulder to anybody that other man screams in pain that is our contribution because of ego no one is comfortable with me 
no beauty of contribution sacrifice love empathy or sympathy or compassion absolutely nothing so he doesn't follow this wheel of action so he has got his own independent agenda cut off from totality therefore hatred comes and then anger comes and then you know killing or abusing and then harming people and then world and the environment and the prakriti nature brutal and heartless such individuals are there in the society in the country in the world or even little bit refined also even but then they are living absolutely with own selfishness not bothering completely ignoring what will happen to earth what will happen to ecology what will happen to the future of mankind what is that the way i can live in such a way that at least i should not contribute anything negatively to the 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 globe the mankind the family if not at least positively at least i should not contribute anything which harms the society na anuvartayati yaha yaha whoever he be that fellow here in this world who is not following sa aghayu ho aghayu ho indriya aramah he is a sinful one aghayu aghayu agha means papa papa bhuvishtam sinful one most sinful one indriya ramah indriya ramah means what one who revels only in sense organs all kinds of sense pleasures he is after whole life he feels it is only for sense pleasures indriya ramah rejoicing in senses <clears throat> and you know the senses rejoicing but you know if the more we uh, 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 what do you call rejoice in our senses the health goes down abusing the eyes nose ears tongue skin karmendriyas gyanendriyas when we abuse them overuse them indisciplinely use them or negatively use them and then it spoils not only the indriyas but also the mind and the intellect and then whole structure the entire personality collapses inside not only we suffer physically mentally and intellectually as long emotionally and mentally as long as we are there in this world we also contribute greater amount of suffering to the world around us oh i live for myself hell to dog but not no but you are actually directly and indirectly harming so many people around you indriyarama then mogam partha sajeevati he is a such a wasteful candidate worthless to live on the planet earth he lives in vain he has no personal agenda no personal goals no contribution no society nothing such people are there all over the globe you know in a, in a, in a completely clouded drowned in their own thinking recently also we heard uh, a boy of then he killed his grandmother and in us and texas nearly and he killed 18 school children for no reason so these are all aberrations of the mind diseases and it takes long time to refine ourselves to purify ourselves if we fall into the trap to come out of it is very difficult we don't have to become popular and get great name and fame in the world and well known everywhere we yeah, that is not the purpose of life that is depending on destiny that is destiny for one life only that is immaterial for the circle that which is given to us by the god are we living in that circle beautifully lovingly harmoniously not we put up by passions 
Bhagavan Krishna says, my dear, those who are following this path, he will purify himself, evolve further. His life is a contribution to the world. When I say contribution, whatever role is given to you, you will play perfectly. And whomever you meet in society and wherever to the extent your hands can be laid upon, in that entire area or the zone or the field of your influence, you are creating a positive impact. Your life and presence itself gets uh, is an inspiration, source of inspiration to the people around you. Because of our beauty of life, regulations, the kind of life, the kind of attitudes we have, the kind of relationships we have, the kind of interaction that we do with love and kindness, not harming anyone. Then you live in more and more number of the hearts of more and more number of people. So Gurudev says, you know, to love and to get loved is the greatest fulfillment of life. So Indriyara, that is the one side, the one who has become slave to senses. What is his condition? That we saw. Mogam Pathasa Jeevati, he lives in vain, he is a purpose, he is a great burden to the country, to the globe, consuming, 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 because you know, the body itself, you know, very, to make us exist in the shape and size itself consumes a lot of energy. Forget about functioning of the physical body. A stone is there, any object is there in the universe, the energy is solidified and maintaining it, the shape and size itself is a tremendous amount of energy is expended there. So it's a burden. So, so what is the, uh, this one? One question we have to ask for us. Am I a burden to people, to family? Or am I an asset to family and the society and the country? <coughs> this is a question. So be an asset and don't be a liability. Burden. And if we live our life in this way, and even in old age, you know, physically we may dependent, become dependent on others, depending. But then you already lived and loved so many people, and there will be a stream of people to serve you. One who lives with fighting with everybody, no relationships, nothing, 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 and everything. Uh, तो But this sadhu will cover. Vidurji says, you know, Vidurji says, Bure logon ke liye dost kon ho sakte hai, bure logo ho sakte hai. Bure logon ko madad karne wale. The wicked people are helped by wicked people. Wicked people don't help good people. But good people can help wicked people also. And good people and wicked people both depend on saint and sannyasi or a saint, saintly personality. They don't, he doesn't have any objection. Two parties, rivals, 
but both they can paraspara vairatyagaha patanjali sutra says shatru bhava will go away in the presence of a saint so that's how we should live our life continuing 17th verse यस्वात्मरति रेवस्यात् आत्मतृप्तस्च मानवः आत्मन्येव च संतुष्टः तस्य कार्यं न विद्यते यस्वात्मरति रेवस्यात् आत्मतृप्तस्च मानवः आत्मन्येव च संतुष्टः तस्य कार्यं न विद्यते friends three words are introduced here by krishna rati trupti santushti three words rati trupti santushti rati means what reveling reveling in sense objects in rati there is a tremendous attachment rati means to revel this is a tremendous attachment to sense objects to procure to hug to enjoy to embrace so in that rati one demands a physical contact with the objects an extremely gets attached it could be eating try to eat up eatables it could be music anything anything to destroy our peace of mind and balance and anything that takes away from me from my responsibilities is an addiction it could be watching tv or mobile or facebook you know facebook and all come back came, came became come but then Uh, became uh, came down and the, but then most people are using instagram or twitter so that actually takes us away from the goal so rati means what i am passionate to revel in the objects But that's how the mind functions functions i'm eating food and then you are all you are all eating in front of me i don't know i ordered my own food some item but you ordered different items i just can't control looking at your plate i'll just take with same hand without any etiquette nothing just take food and you have seen must have seen that hey kaisa hai ye kaisa hai oh maza aaya maza aaya maza aaya in any kind of physical bhog so that's called rati second one is called trupti trupti is an attachment to a particular object where you can draw contentment from it you are not attached like rati you are not bound you are not a slave but there is a trupti happiness i need it's a demanded i demand happiness but there is no insistence there yet i want contentment but i am not bound okay it's available i content i am not a slave like rati and what is santushti so what is trupti one who is satisfied within in atmarti will come what is santushti santushti is what that you know a feeling i am santosh santushti a feeling that i don't need any more 
enough. I don't need any more. I tasted it. I got contentment, trupti. I transcended, santushti I reached. So therefore, I don't need anything. I'm now contented. So Atmarati rejoices, satisfaction is called Trupti and, and Santushti is called contentment. Second is satisfaction. Trupti is, can be Gurudev translated as trans, uh, satisfaction. I'm satisfied, no doubt about it. And not attached, not become slave, not brooding over them. Yes, if available, welcome. And Santushti is still deeper, contentment. Now, uh, in these three, now, in this case of a wise man, those who has, who have been living Indriya Ramahanai, Mogam Parsajivati, that one, one who is disciplined, of, of opposite of it, those who are uh, dedicated to the cosmic wheel of action, those who understood, those who are really living for Dharma, Dharma doesn't mean, uh, uh, what do you call, you are asked to know. His dharma says, you, 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 whatever you want to achieve in life, enjoy in life, through dharma you can achieve, you can enjoy. Not through adharma. Suppose, you know, our parents would say, our parents, not my parents alone, anybody elders' parents would say that no, it is not your dharma to go to movie when there is exam tomorrow. So I follow my dharma. Of what? Of studying. Tomorrow is exam. I'm not sub should not go. So Rati, Trupti, Santushti. Now, in the case of this man who has been living a dharmic life, tuned to the cosmic wheel of action, living beautifully, keep anyone as great inspiration. You can keep Gurudev as inspiration, those he has worked for society. You can keep Vivekananda as inspiration. All the great, many more Mahatmas are there. Some are alive, some are um, vacated the planet, away, uh, dropped their bodies. But all of them have demonstrated a great, great, great um, level of commitment through work for society and the country, following the wheel of action. Yet they are above all of this. So Bhagwan Krishna says, Yahatu Atma Rati. Now, where is this man Rati? One who is following the entire the, the, the understood what is the sequ sequence and of action, everything, and he has purified himself. He becomes Atmarati. He does, he revels, Rati me rejoices, rejoices only in self. Atmarati, Atmatrupti, Atma Santushti. Meaning, one who is revel, rejoices in self, satisfied in self, contended only in self. In our case, rejoice in some objects, satisfaction from some other objects, contentment is only from very few objects. So Bhagavan Shankaracharya says, Atma Ratihi Yahatu Sankhyaha Atma Jnana Nishtaha One who is abide, abiding in this knowledge of higher self. Atma Ratihi Atmani eva ratihi na vishayeshu yasya saha atma ratihi eva syat bhavet. He, he doesn't revel in senses outside. He revels in his own self. He is not depending. We revel in television, in pakode, in entertainment, in excursion, in travel, in picnic, in hotels, in parties. You know what all we revel in? Think external or some company chit chatting, rejoicing in a chit chat. So, our, our joy is always depending on sense objects and a world around you. Chalo pahad ke upar baithenge, maja aega. Chalo hawa khayenge, maja aega. Chalo haan pe 
समुद्र किनारे जाएंगे मजा आएगा सो वी आर एक्चुअली पुश द आउट साइड दिस मैन आत्मरति इन साइड ओनली ही इज हैप्पी ही इज रिवेलिंग रिजॉइसिंग विद इन हिमसेल्फ आत्मरति एंड आत्मतृप्त आत्मना तृप्त ई गेट्स तृप्ति ओनली थ्रू सेल्फ न अन्न रसादिना तृप्ति वेर इज गेटिंग तृप्ति फ्रॉम नॉट बाय खाना खाया शेड मेनी टाइम्स विथ दे यूज टू बी ग्रेट महात्मा ही वॉज गुरुदेव इज गुरु भाई सम ऑफ यू नो आई मीन सम पीपल आई शेड I shared about him in Ignya also. Ignya is also in Noida. Offline talks. Such a great Mahatma he was. He was given Diksha by Swami Shivanandji Maharaj only. Divine Life Society. Who was our Guru Dev's Diksha Guru. He gave sannyas to Guru Dev. So these two, when uh, Guru Dev and he went to um, Shivananda Ashram, by then Swami Yogananda, his name is Swami Yogananda. Not Params Yogananda, in Kanambi Yogananda. He was already given the Sanya Diksha by Shivananda. He is staying in a room, but younger than Guru Dev by seven years. But he got Sanyas before. When he went there, so Shivananda said, "Both of you stay in same room." So that Yogananda, I used to meet him. He is no more. He can't samadhi. So once you know, our some of us we took him a beautiful chair, relaxing chair. For him to sit under a huge tree outside his kutia, small room, he used to stay. Parama Viragi, Advaiti, established in that knowledge of Advaita. So he is just he doesn't come down. He always speaks only of Advaita Tattva. So he said. Then we presented the chair, and he said, "Swamiji, this will be very good. You can relax in the chair, and you can, I think, you'll be happy or something." I said. He looked at me. And said, "We are talking about joy or contentment from the chair. The chair will give you happiness." He asked me. I smiled. From here, he speaks from higher dimension. That means what? They never ever give validity to such kind of ideas that you get comfort from any of the material thing because atma trupti na anna paana adi anna rasa adi na not by food, not by objects. No, I am. Ghar banaliya, cha contentment ho gaya bhi. Contentment is different. Trupti satisfaction, no. Satisfaction. Talk. Trupti Guru Dev translated as satisfaction. So satisfaction is not another sadhana, but only Atman Yeva. Atman Yeva, Atma Atmana Yeva. Through Atman alone, to taha is is satisfied. Na another sadhana. Sah manava ha. Such a human being. Who is it? Manusya, sannyasi. He is a sannyasi. Bhagwan Shankara, sannyasi means what? One who is given up, he will completely. Such a sannyasi, atman ye vacha santushta. He is completely contented only in his own self. Why are we struggling in the world outside to get joy? Once I realize the truth, I am the nature of blissful Brahman. Then what is necessary? I need not run after. So Atman ye vacha santushta santosho hi bahi arthalabe sarvasya bhavati. Santosha is everybody will get santosha happiness or that greater contentment, whatever it is. Only from the external objects. Tam anapeksha. This man is not depending on external objects. Atmani eva cha santushta. He is quite happy with him. Ninswar sarvato vita trushna ityetat. Shankaracharya says he has no desire for anything in the worldly objects. For his own aggrandizement, joy, absolutely nothing. Yeah, idrushaha, the one who is like this, atmavit, the knower of self, tasya for him, karyam karaniyam na vidyate nasti ityarta. 
to such a man there is no bounden duty there is no obligation he is ever contented within himself in our case there are so many desires so many burdens so many wishes so we are whipped by from within the desires whipping us from within go 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 get it go get it go get it you know normally we whip the dog domestic dog whip it get it throw the object get it get it and the god dog will go and get the ball get the object back again so desires whip the buddhi buddhi agitates the mind mind pressurizes the sense organs sense organs run and hover around the sense objects procure them bring them to the experience through sense organs and make the stupid mind quiet and apparently temporarily now intellect gets freed from the desire it says okay i got now my quota so let me enjoy for some time revel in it so the, the desire goes back some other desire come forth for it and the desire goes back and sits somewhere in the corner quietly eating enjoying ruminating over the joy once that is done again it will come in line again fulfill me again go and get this object now tasya karyam na vidyate means this man he has no obligatory duties to fulfill he is not bound he can work he need not work he can absolutely freedom he is not answerable to anybody wonderful isn't it now he has no he can he can choose to work if he wants but he is not he will not be bound he can choose to remain quiet nobody can ask question him our gurudev's gurudev tapor maharaj who can question him if he talks to us it's a great blessing no more of course ramana maharishi so it is our luck that he opened his mouth and spoke he is not obliged so on the contrary yaha tu he who the indeed one who satisfied in himself rejoices in himself first one prati atma tripti one who satisfied himself with his own self through his own self one who is contented completely by his own self sat sat in santushti such a man has no obligatory duties he may work like pujya gurudev work not under vasana pressure he is free it is the such mahatmas working is out of compassion they may work otherwise some other mahatmas out of compassion they may not work physically but they can continue to bless the world with their thoughts
therefore krishna continues naiva tasya krute nartho na krute neha kashana na chasya sarva bhuteshu kaschidartha vyapashraya naiva tasya krute nartho na krute neha kashana na chasya sarva bhuteshu kaschidartha vyapashraya for such a man tatva with great man realized man contended why is tasya karyam na vidyate why is that he has nothing to do nothing to perform nothing to work in this world because he says tasya for him karyam krutena arthaha krutena there is no interest actually in him by action na eva tasya krutena arthaha na arthaha krutena tasya na arthaha there is no meaning for him there is no interest in whatever whatever is done na akrute neha kaschana or whatever is not done is absolutely not bothered what is done is also not bothered what is not done is absolutely na krute na na akrute na kaschana so there is no interest for him what is done what is not done it's a swapna jagat my dear one who has awakened to that all pervading presence of consciousness he sees it as though it is con- I mean, as though it is, he sees this world as constantly changing as though stagnant as though real and the, the destiny the cosmic destiny the, the country's destiny society destiny family's destiny individual destiny it just runs the show so bhagwan on mercy said withdraw and just watch he says remain silent motion the the waves are rising and Oh, it is foolishness on my part to think that ocean wave should not rise ocean should be peaceful ocean ka swabhav hi hai let them rise let them fall and kya kar sakte i fell in love with one wave and that wave is growing in front of me and then disappearing or decaying and dying that wave could be wife or husband children or parents or money or wealth in front of us they decay so therefore this man says koi meaning hi nahi hai jo hua na hua koi matlab hi nahi hai unke liye aapne liye because we have a lot of agenda is bound karma is there we think the world is real we are not awakened to the truth so it is not that you heard from i think i think let me try it out is aisa nahi hota let me try this thought it is an experience so therefore no anxiety for gain there is no anxiety when something is lost and moreover nacha asya sarva bhute ishu you know he doesn't depend सर्वभूतेशु कस्चि अर्थव्यपाश्रय नॉर्मली अवर लाइफ वी डिपेंड ऑन डिफरेंट बीइंग्स फॉर डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड डिफरेंट हेल्प एंड डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस अर्थ मीन्स ऑब्जेक्ट अपाश्रय visheshana he is absolutely not depending on anybody for any object he is not dependent he 
इनके पास जाके पूछ लो तो वो मिल जाएगा इनके पास जाके पूछने पर वो मिल जाता है सो अवर लाइफ इज एक्चुअली बिग लिस्ट ऑफ पीपल विथ होम ऑन होम आई कैन डिपेंड एंड वॉट टू मेक माई सेल्फ हैप्पी उसने फोन नहीं किया मैंने एक बार किया दो बार किया नहीं उठाया ये डिड नॉट कॉल मी बैक आई थिंक इज नॉट हैप्पी विथ मी आई थिंक I I think till I, he calls me or I call him again and he lifts and says क्या हुआ फोन ने उठाया दो दिन से बहुत परेशान था मैं नहीं नहीं गिव सम रीजन तो गुस्सा तो नहीं है ना मीन्स वॉट इफ द अदर मैन गेट्स एंग्री ऑन मी सो आई एम डिपेंडिंग ऑन हिम टू प्लीज मी सबके साथ होता है ये सन्यासी लक्षण है सन्यासी लक्षण कश्चित अर्थ व्यपाश्रय एंड किसका उस आश्रय इज आश्रय इज नॉट ऑन एनी बीइंग फॉर एनी ऑब्जेक्ट आश्रय में सपोर्ट शेल्टर डिपेंडेंस एक्सेट्रा इन अवर लाइफ वी आर डिपेंड सो मेनी थिंग्स एंड इमेजिन दैट स्टेट वेर वन वुड से आई डोंट नीड एनफ मेन आई डोंट नीड एनीथिंग इट्स एनफ शंकराचार्य रोट नो कौपी न पंचकम कौपी न वन वन हू डजेंट वॉन्ट एनी थिंग दट कौपी न ऑल्सो ओनली फॉर सोसाइटी सेक इज वेरिंग इट Some people don't even wear that also. Some copy in a bazaari, just be sitting there. What he wants actually, he is not. In, and I met recently such a great mahatma. He has just attained samadhi two years back, a one and a half year back. He doesn't talk. पहले पहले लोगों को पागल समझा सा समझते थे. Later on, he understood that what happened, what happened is. and he would come and tell in that only one servant he said you stay there and he was serving him till he attend samadhi recently attend samadhi last year only and you know so unique about who the lakshana sir plenty now there is not the way to talk all those things and he would say suddenly will ask him the assistant go ya gaadi aa gaye us the भाई जाने का कुछ आई नहीं उनको बोलते आई डोंट नो व्हाट गाड़ी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट महात्मा गाड़ी आ रही है गाड़ी आ रही है मैं साकार में समबडी इज कमिंग टू मीट हिम हमारे साथ भी ऐसे ही हुआ वी वेंट इन अ कार मी एंड अदर स्वामी ही टुक मी देयर एंड पूछते थे हां स्वामी जी बता रहे थे अभी आप आने वाले उनको कैसे पता चला नहीं बोल रहे कोई आ रहे हैं गाड़ी में आ रहे हैं मिलने आ रहे हैं स्मॉल विलेज तो गए देन इज एट उठ गए उनसे बोला कुछ चेले से बोले मुझसे बोला स्वामी जी आपके गाड़ी में बैठ के घुमा घूमना गु, चाहते हैं और क्या भाग गया है तो दैट महात्मा सेट इन द ब्रेयर सीट आई वॉज सिटिंग इन द फ्रंट नेक्स्ट टू ड्राइवर ड्राइवर वॉज देयर ओनली अकेले था अवधूत वॉज सिटिंग बिहाइंड एंड अवधूत के पैर पे कार गाड़ी में ही ई डिड नॉट सिट इन दीट इज चेले सीट बीच में जो जगह होती है ना ड्राइवर सीट एंड बैक सीट के वहां पर नीचे बैठ गए लाइक नील डाउन एंड देन एंड मैं महा सेवा कर रहे वी डिड नॉट स्पीक वी जस्ट राइट लेफ्ट वो बोलते रहे हाथ दिखा रहे चेला बोलते राइट दिखाओ जो रोड है लेफ्ट राइट वो आधा घंटा घुमा के फिर वापस आधा घंटा फोर्टी मिनट घुमाया पूरा महोदूत है और बैठ गए उतर गए सो वैली वॉज Well, I just turned back and said, "He doesn't speak. You know, we can't touch him also." So I asked him, "Can I touch your feet?" So I asked him the chela to ask him. I don't know whether he speaks or not. And very thick his eyes are not. Sir, hmm. Me, me, take care of. Pack it up. So I went to touch him. Such a man. He doesn't need anything. 
इट डजन डिपेंड ऑन एनी थिंग एक्चुअली वो अवधूत है आओ न आओ खिलाओ न खिलाओ आप सजुड न थे इज जर रिवेलिंग इन देयर ट्रू दैट इज वन टाइप ऑफ महात्मा सम पीपल दे डोंट डिपेंड ऑन एनीथिंग बट दे जस्ट टू कवता देयर मिशन इज टू सर्व सोसाइटी लाइक और गुरुदेव इज देयर डायनेमिकली सर्वड वर्ल्ड सो समबडी कैन वर्क समबडी कैन नीड नॉट वर्क बट द कार्यम न विद्यते मीनिंग ही इज नॉट ओब्लाइज्ड गुरुदेव आल्सो वाज नॉट ओब्लाइज्ड टू सर्व इज नॉट अंडर कंपल्शन वी हैव अ कंपल्शन वी हैव टू ईट वी हैव टू अर्न वी हैव टू प्रोक्योर वी हैव टू प्रोड्यूस बेटर रिजल्ट्स फॉर सस्टेनेंस आवर वी आर ऑल कंडीशनड एंड एजेंडा ऑफ सो मेनी थिंग्स इन दैट केस एब्सेंस न थी तपुर तो महाराज क्या चाहिए था उनको कुछ भी नहीं अर्थ कश्चित अर्थ व्यपाश नॉट इज नॉट डिपेंडिंग ऑन एनी बीन कोई चेला है नहीं उनके पास सेवा करने के लिए बट ही वाज जस्ट वांडर इन द माउंटेंस अलोन अब कोई लोग आ रहे हैं तो और भी ऊपर चले जाते थे तपुर तो महाराज गुरुदेव उस गुरु गुरुदेव गुरुदेव उस गुरुदेव स्वामी चिन्मयानंद जी उस गुरु स्वामी तपोवन एम्बोडमेंट ऑफ तपस्या so such are there so they don't depend the bhagwan krishna says because why he is absolutely tasya karyam na vidyate because for him there is no interest in what is done what is not done nor he is depending on any person and object for his own joy absolutely nothing therefore therefore what should we do you know that is a higher level You are talking about a man of great wise man wisdom, one who has touched the 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 consciousness, and one who has realized is that he is consciousness. One who is always contented within himself. For him, no work, no action. But in your case, your plenty of desires, agendas, responsibilities, karma is dancing on all of us, our own karma. So we can't escape. So we are bound by karma. We should come out of it. So what should we do? Tasmaat asakta satatam karyam karma samasat. How to reach that? In your case, Arjuna, what we should do? Therefore, therefore, what we will continue from nineteenth verse next Saturday. That will be on nineteenth or eighteenth, I think eighteenth. 18th जून ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्ण पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमाधाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं सद्गुनाथ महाराज की जय थैंक यू ऑल हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि ओम thank you everybody for joining today's class we will continue with bhagavad gita next saturday that's 18th of june same time 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock tomorrow we have our bhajagovindam class that's a study class just a gentle reminder to all those who have been participating and have joined and anybody else interested to join please feel free to connect with us thank you so much till we meet again hari om pranams